Hi, in this section, we are going to take a look at linear regression, market basket analysis, K means clustering. In this video, we are going to take a look at the four functions which will help us call specific R models and functions, how to integrate Tableau with R and why should you do so. What is linear regression? How to perform linear regression in Tableau using R. Tableau server can also be configured to connect to an R serve instance. This will allow anyone to view a dashboard containing R functionality. Four built-in functions that are used to call specific R models and functions. They are script underscore real returns a real number, script underscore str this function returns a string. Script underscore integer returns an integer. Script underscore boolean returns a boolean value. The arguments to these functions include R language scripts and R function calls. Steps to bring about the integration of Tableau with R. Start R and RServe package. Make sure that you install the RServe package the command to install the rserve package is mentioned here. Then you can load the rserve package. Start Tableau and the first thing to do is to connect to the rserve instance. Script string function, script underscore str function. This function returns a string result from a given r expression. The r expression is passed directly to a running rserve instance. Use dot arg hash in the r expression to reference parameters script underscore bool script underscore boolean returns a boolean result from a given r expression the r expression is passed directly to a running r serve instance use again dot arg hash in the r expression to reference parameters script underscore real returns a numeric result from a given R expression. The R expression is passed directly to a running R serve instance. And as before, you can use dot arg hash to pass in the arguments to the R expression. Script underscore integer returns an integer result from the given R expression. This again can be passed directly to a running R serve instance. Points to remember, Data cannot be exported directly from Tableau into R. Data sets cannot be imported from R into Tableau. Visualizations created in R cannot be imported into Tableau. However, one can use the image files of R visualizations or URL to R visualizations in the Tableau dashboard. R is an open source statistical analysis tool. And Tableau, as you know, is one of the leading data visualization tool. This integration of R with Tableau harnesses the statistical analytical abilities of R with the drag and drop visualization power of Tableau. One can avail the benefits of R functions, libraries and packages even while working with Tableau. How is this integration brought about? Tableau desktop connects to R through its calculated fields. The calculations dynamically invoke the R engine and passes value to R via the R serve package and returns the computed results back to Tableau. Through the course of this section, we will look at demonstrations of computing linear regression, performing market basket analysis and k-means clustering in Tableau leveraging R. What is linear regression? Linear regression is a statistical procedure for predicting the value of a dependent variable from an independent variable when the relationship between the variables can be described with a linear model. Linear regression consists of finding the best fitting straight line through the points. For example, an analyst may want to know if there is a relationship between road accidents and the age of the driver. Few examples of linear regression. The first example, study the relationship between age given in years and price stated in USD 
of used cars in the last two years by a cars dealership company. The second example. Study how stock price is affected by changes in interest rates. Difference between correlation and regression. Correlation quantifies the degree to which two variables are related. With correlation, you compute the correlation coefficient that helps to decipher how much one variable tends to change when the value of the other variable changes. Positive correlation is when the two variables move in tandem. That is to say, if the value of one variable increases, the value of the other variable increases too. If the value of one variable decreases, the value of the other variable decreases as well. Negative correlation is when the two variables do not move in tandem. That is to say, if the value of one variable increases, the value of the other variable decreases. In other words, in negative correlation, the variables move in inverse or opposite direction. Correlation does not fit a line. Linear regression finds the best line that predicts y from x. The decision of which variable you call x and which you call y does not matter in correlation. However, it does matter in regression as you will get a different best fit line if you swap the two. The line that best predicts y from x is not the same as the line that predicts x from y. However, both these lines will have the same value for r square. Let us look at a demo for performing linear regression in Tableau. We are at the r interface. We will first compute the linear regression in r. Tableau desktop connects to r through its calculated fields. The calculations dynamically invoke the R engine and passes values to R via the R serve package. Before proceeding with the demonstration, ensure that R serve package is installed. If the R serve package is installed successfully, load the R serve package. To do this, type in the command library R serve and then type in R serve. We are going to work with a cars data set. Let us check the cars data set. We have 50 rows or records or 50 observations. We have two columns here, speed and distance. Speed is the speed at which the car moves and distance is the distance that it will take to stop a car. Let's compute the linear regression. I will first clear the screen and this is done by typing in control L. I will use a variable regression called as reg equal to sign lm the function which will help us compute the linear regression dist the column from the cars data set a till sign speed the other column from the cars data set and type in the cars data set. This will compute the linear regression. We can also check its value by typing in REG. It gives us the intercept and the speed. Let me compute the predicted or fitted values. Let me use a variable called as fitted here and say REG a dollar sign fitted dot values. I can check its value as well. Now let us plot the fitted values or predicted values against the distance values. To do this, I will use the plot function fitted the very first argument and this is the value that we have just computed cars data set and I'm going to refer to its distance column. So here we get the fitted or predicted value plotted against the cars distance. Let me resize this here so you can see the command this side and you can see the plot this side. Let us see if we can get the same output in Tableau. We of course will be invoking the lm function from within Tableau. We have read in the cars data set into Tableau. You can see that we have 50 rows or records or 50 observations as we call it in R. We have two columns that we are going to work with the speed and distance. Let's proceed to sheet 1. 
The first thing before we start to do the demonstration is to ensure that we connect successfully to R. In order to do this, come to Help, come to Settings and Performance and come to Manage R Connection. The R installation is on my local machine and therefore against server we type in localhost. The port is 6311. Let's test the connection. The message is successfully connected to the R serve service. Click on OK and click on OK here as well. The next thing that we will do is to create a new calculated field. To do this, come here, create calculated field. Let's name this field as linear regression. Let's type in the formula here. I am going to use a function called as script real. The codes that I wish to execute in R have to be enclosed within the double quotation marks. So let me do this. Now type in the code that I want executed in R. I'll use the variable reg equal to sign lm the function use arg1 the first argument a tilde sign dot arg2 the second argument that's my first line of code coming down I will compute the predicted or the fitted values so with a dollar sign say fitted dot values the closing quote is there already. Now let's pass on the value for the function. So we'll say sum. I'm going to pass the value of the column dist here from the cars data set. Close this and then say sum. Pass in the value for the second argument, which is going to be my speed column. So here it is. So this becomes my complete code. So you can see that here. And the calculation is valid. Click on apply and click on OK. So you can see that we get this new computer field called as linear regression. It appears under the measures pane. Let us now create our visualization. To do this, let's get linear regression and place it on the columns shelf. Let's take dist here and place it on the rows shelf. If you get this one mark here, because this is the aggregated value. I can also disaggregate the measures. To do this, come to analysis and uncheck the mark against aggregate measures. So we have just disaggregated the measure. Let us compare this output that we get in Tableau against the output that we get in R. And you can see that we get the same output. You just learned how to perform linear regression in Tableau.